Hey, Reveal Rob here, man. Just got done checking out the first two episodes that are available now on Disney Plus for the show Agatha All Along. This is the new Marvel Cinematic Universe television show, or MCU, however you want to call it. That takes place, of course, after WandaVision and Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, or as I like to call it, Wanda, the Multiverse of Madness, because that's Wanda's movie, baby. But I just want to give my quick thoughts on uh, what I've experienced so far with watching the show and... Let's, you know, go from there. So we got first episode in, and I liked the mystery vibe that I was giving us. Kind of gave, like, a cop procedural vibe, but kind of, like, feels the same vibe of WandaVision and the things that Captain Hans' character was doing. Uh, of course, Agatha. And um, the first uh, WandaVision experience we got with her. So kind of, you know, as we go through the episode, we're catching up on, you know, what's been happening and what's kind of the mystery of what's going on with Agatha since the events of WandaVision and even the events of uh, Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. I liked how the episode played out. I liked the mystery vibes of it. Aubrey Plaza shows up in this episode, her character, and she's freaking awesome. I always loved Aubrey Plaza and I like what I'm seeing of her character so far. And again, Catherine Hahn, fantastic as she always is, especially in this role as Agatha. So I I liked that episode, episode two, you know, building to uh, the where we're going to go throughout the rest of the season. It seems building up to a big event, having very well paced. I like the mystery. I like the atmosphere that it's uh, bringing on. I like the witchy vibes of everything, as the show should, of course, have. And I like the the story they're building here. I like what they're trying to tell. And it is, it's interesting to follow along this character. I've seen some people like, ah, we didn't need this show. Maybe we didn't need the show. But um, I was interested in, again, as a fan of WandaVision and wanting to see, again, what has happened with Agatha and where Agatha can go. I, I think both episodes we've gotten so far have done a very solid job of building uh, building forward to what you know the actual next event's going to be and of course episode two ended on a cliffhanger and i'm just clamoring at the bits to um see where it's all going and see what's going to happen next because they're, they're doing good man uh, they've created something extremely interesting in a show that maybe again didn't need to be made maybe we didn't need it don't know how it's going to fit into everything else in the universe but we got to watch and see how it all goes but me personally as a guy who's been very much on record is not the biggest fan of the marvel stuff as you know like a lot of people are i enjoy some of it don't enjoy some of it but i've thoroughly enjoyed the both of these two episodes breeze by for the watch both of them like 40 some odd minutes long as some you know television shows are and i think the rest of the marvel shows have been and you know they're releasing weekly so we have to wait uh, every week will be released on wednesdays uh, nine o'clock eastern side six o'clock western side I, th I believe that's the correct times but uh, i know it's wednesdays and again i'm excited to see where it's all going seems like it's building up to something very very interesting i'm thoroughly impressed by uh, what they're doing and very invested in what they're doing at the same time, man. So that's my quick thoughts. No spoilers, obviously. Uh, let me know. Have you watched it? Have you seen the two episodes yet? Let me know in the comments what you're thinking of the show. Are you having as much of a good time as I am with it? Do you have some questions? Are you a little hesitant about the show? Let us know, man. Let us know in the comments. But me personally, I am enjoying this show.